But yeah, this is the mussels, rice, and a lot of lemon, but. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Why hasn't this been in my life before? Not sure on that. Good morning, Istanbul. This is currently 6.30 in the morning, and this is day one of our trip through Turkey. Pretty much jumping on a bus and leaving the city so we can go explore more of the countryside. for a couple hours now we're actually making our way towards Gallipoli but we literally just jumped on they call it like a shuttle bus pretty comfortable with some other passengers who've jumped on the tour just been dropped off at this little truck stop there's a shell station to get some fuel and there's this little old lady that is making guzlemi and I really hope I'm pronouncing that right making us some guzlemi and we're just gonna get some takeaway but she's just preparing it right in front of us just in this truck stop they have like McDonald's and Burger King and they have like an old lady making those like me. So cool, but let's all try. We should all try together. Right. It's like straight off the, what would you call it? Oh yeah, the what is that? The hot metal pot. thing. The hot metal thing. <laughs> is the cheese like nice and melted? Mmm, so nice. It's like spinachy and it's like thin, thin flaky pastry bread. Oh yeah, stuff. you can see there. Really good, really light. Really good truck stop snacks. Mm. So I'm sure a lot of Australians and New Zealanders watching will know the 25th of April 1915 and we are currently at Anzac Cove. So that is the day when the Australian and New Zealand troops landed in Turkey here in Gallipoli and this is actually where they hold the big annual dawn service and they said last year there were 11,000 people that came here to remember. Wow they set up this really moving memorial to show you at one point in the war just how close they were so this is the Australians just here well the Anzac troops just here I and mean, within five meters you can see the Turkish troops just on that side and <laughs> They'll just had a stalemate just here. I can't believe just how close they were fighting together. As an Australian, it is so interesting to be at this spot, which by the way, is tiny. Whenever we watch the dawn service, it looks massive. And I can't believe last year they fit, or this year they fit 11,000 people here. I don't know where they all fit because it's so small. We celebrate Anzac Day. It's almost as big as Christmas and New Year's. Like Christmas, New Year's, Anzac Day, and of course the Queen's million birthdays that she has a year. This is a major one for us. And it's mostly because for Australians and New Zealands, this was the first major battle that we took place in the Great Wars. As an Australian, we remember it for Anzac Day, but we've also got to remember that the Turkish forces lost more people than the Australian forces. It was still a massive loss for Australia and New Zealand, the French and the British forces but it's just such a shame with war when you actually come here and you just realize that the Anzac campaign which went on for eight months it wasn't just April 25th it went on for eight months it had no significant impact on the war so all this loss of life it's just so unfortunate Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that little look around Gallipoli, especially if there's any Australians out there, so now you know what it looks like April 25th when we remember. But now we are jumping onto a ferry and we're leaving the European continent and we're heading over to the Asian continent where we're going to be spending most of the rest of our time here in Turkey. So it's one where you can drive on or like us, we're just passengers and we're just walking on. We can officially say goodbye to Europe because we're not going to see it for like two weeks. Say goodbye. Bye Europe. <laughs> we are off to the Asian continent. And so our first stop is Chinakali and we're going to be spending the night there. Welcome to Chinakali. We've arrived, we've just freshened up and we're going to meet up with the group and go and have dinner because we've heard that this place is famous for their stuffed mussels and we love mussels. So I'm not saying no amazing. to that. I mean, if that's trying the local food, <laughs> that's and I, pretty good. I've also heard that there may be a horse here, a very famous horse. A little famous horse. Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom might be popping up somewhere. <laughs> Has anyone tried it? Thank 
Thank you. So it's kind of like a teaser before we have this as our mains, but yeah, this is the mussels, rice, and a lot of lemon, but. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's so fresh. Let's go get more. But yeah, I want to just take that entire thing. Yeah. Just tasting it. <laughs> When they finished filming the movie Troy, they were like, okay, we need to donate the Trojan horse to where it should be. This area is meant to be in the area where Troy was, so they have actually donated the real Trojan horse that they used in the movie. It's actually quite a big movie prop, to be honest. It's really big. Yeah. Like at least four Jessicas. <laughs> I just absolutely love Greek and mythological history, and if you guys didn't know the story about the Trojan horse, they needed to take over the city of Troy, so they hid inside the horse, gave it as a gift so they got inside the city walls, and then at night, the best warriors came out of the horse, jumped down, and then went and took over the city, which is such a cool story. It's really awesome to be here. So if you like mythological history, this place is for you. So we all just went out for a seafood dinner at this restaurant and earlier today we saw a fisherman with all these sardines and I was like okay I feel like this is a place to try our first sardines. I've always been nervous to try sardines because sardines and anchovies, I don't know, they're just weird because you can see their little faces but we decided to try them and I had no idea how to eat them so I decided to just rip the tail off and put it in my mouth and just like slide all the meat off and it was actually really good. Oh, Oh, that's a very bony oh, fish. Oh, wait, I'll try it again. I'm like, I feel like these sardines are the Wow. I feel like a cat. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to them. Stephen and Cleo also both liked it. You agree? Even though Cleo said it was like eating fish bait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if this is the place to try them, this is the place to try them. Like, then it's famous for this area. And there's something else famous in the area. We've just come down to the water to try it. Come sit. It's a little picnic. <laughs> So, there's this really um, famous dessert that is known here in the region and it's made of cheese. It's called Pioneer Helva and the restaurant has given, a, given it to us in a little takeaway. Yeah. And this is the ice cream that's meant to go with it. She's given us, I wonder if it's going to get messy because those are to clean up after. All right. Okay. So it is, all I know at the moment is that it's cheese and everyone's told us to try it and you meant to try it with ice cream. So. We've got our ice cream, we've got our cheese. Do you mean to go first? Come on. So weird, cheese and ice cream. Not sure on that. No, it's really yummy. It's got syrup. Let me try it by itself. I oh yeah. I can't tell if there's like cheese. It's like a grainy syrupy cake. I can't taste the cheese at all. I don't know what it is. It's so different. It's syrupy though, right? Yeah. No, really. The taste of the shell is so weird. The ice cream's really good. I haven't tasted the ice cream. I'm excited. That is super nice though. No cheese though. I don't know. Cleo's going in for more. Can't taste the cheese at all. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day here in Chinookalee. I feel like that's the correct way to say it. Hopefully I did it right on one of those times, but we're jumping on our very first local Turkish bus, which I've heard is a good experience. We've picked Truva as our bus company and we're going to be making our way south now. Yeah. Yeah, these seats look super comfortable. Oh, uh, there's a screen. It's like in the oh, airport. <laughs> Why do I feel like Turkey has the fanciest local buses ever? We have a TV screen. With like movies? TV shows. Games. <laughs> the actual TV stations. They've got like Fox, Cartoon Network. Yeah, and if you click it, it'll just start playing whatever the station is. They also have complimentary headphones. So fancy. I know. <laughs> is it a game? It's Angry Birds. <laughs> what? I've played Angry Birds in so many years. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
why did no one warn us that the local buses here in Turkey are the best local buses in the world? <laughs> that was amazing. We had screens, we had games, we had movies, we had food, all included, comfy chairs. Three hour wow. drive to get down here and uh, we just got to Ivalik. Ivalik. We've just arrived in Ivalik and we're staying, they're calling it a mansion. So the whole place is for ourselves. So all the intrepid group are all staying in this building right here. So it's an old stone brick mansion. And they've literally just converted the rooms into kind of like hotel rooms. So some might be a four person room, a three person room, a two person room, and then there's like shared bathrooms. But this place is amazing. Come and have a look. So we have a bunk buddy for the night. Here's our massive bedroom. This and we have a roommate! <laughs> I <was just> sitting there. <laughs> didn't want to wreck it. <laughs> I suppose this could sleep four people, but it's just our little slumber party tonight. It's so cool. The roofs are huge. Look at this old... My mum would just want to steal this and take it home. <laughs> but yeah, this is our pad for the night. So this is the reception area. It's upstairs as well. Wow, that's like a grand staircase up there. You have to have no shoes on in the mansion. Turkish tradition. Mansion rules. And mansion rules. Um, okay, we're going to have a Turkish coffee there. How oh, wow. Is what is that? Like a little coffee nook? Coffee nook? We need a coffee nook in our future home. <laughs> we're learning from the Turkish. <laughs> okay, I think our here is where we're going to be having breakfast. So cute, like a breakfast courtyard. And I see the little bathrooms are down here that we're sharing with everyone. There's like bathrooms scattered across the mansion. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, this is so cute. We need to go see what's up the stairs. Wow. Oh my gosh, this place is so cool, Steve. How do you reckon this phone is? Oh my goodness. Full on old Antique. School. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna break it. Why did I touch the phone? Don't. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is so cool. And then there's like bedrooms all around here. Oh, Jess, I found where we're gonna be having our tea from. Oh That's something I'd love to bring home from Turkey. Is it set? Turkish tea set? the food buddy. I'm not the one with the food. <laughs> so we just relaxed, had some tea and now we've heard that the best sunset spot is an island here in Judon. It's a 10 minute boat ride away so we're all heading out there now. Alrighty guys, welcome to Junda. We have learned that this is a very hot spot for the Turkish holiday goers. There's a yep. lot of hotels here and they said 99.5% of people that will be on this island are Turkish and it is absolutely beautiful and... We're that 5%, we're that 0.5% <laughs> we right are that now. <laughs> Definitely, we're that 0.5%. Something really unique about this area is that this island and also Ivalik, it was actually all built by the Greeks because the Greeks used to live here and then when the Turkish got their independence, all the Greeks moved back to Greece and all the Turks that were living in Greece moved back to Turkey. So a bit of a swapsie. Yeah, so this is basically a Greek village in with, Turkey. With Turkish, with Turkish people. With, um, yeah, all the Turkish living here. So it's so, so unique. So if there are any Turks watching this video series, let us know if you guys have been here or if you want to come here. We kind of just got the afternoon because it's an absolutely incredible spot to have a sunset. I think we're going to walk around and see what kind of local food we can find here. Hello. Can we please get one? One? Yeah. <laughs> so we found a place selling lokama. We've been really wanting to try this. It is a Turkish donut. Um, yes. Coconut? Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Looks good. Looks really good. He's put like nuts and coconut and cinnamon on top. And we're gonna eat it inside this very famous Turkish coffee house. And here they actually make the coffee by grinding it with their hands. And this guy that works here has been working here for years. And he comes and pounds all the coffee grind 10 hours every single day. Wow. He says if you do 500 times, free, free dinner. 500? Free dinner. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. I feel like we're at such a traditional little tea house. There's people playing backgammon, people playing cards. It's really cool, but we all need to try one, one at, all at once. Ready? Oh, all at once. Yeah? Oh, okay. Um, cheers. Cheers. Woo! That's so good. It's like really sweet honey, like you bite into it. And it's like honey just explodes into your mouth. Whoa. That's going to go so good with the Turkish coffee. Uh, You're already eating more. Uh, why hasn't this been in my life before? <laughs> Toasty Bazaar. If that isn't a reason to come to Ivalik, I don't know what is. I think we found it. Oh, it smells like toasties in here. They got us. <laughs> they all want us to go to their shops, but they all sell the same thing. Hopefully we chose a good one. Yeah, you can see all of these are just shops. Hi. Toasty Bazaar. Can we please get three of the toasties? Yeah. The toasties. But can we have two? Oh, sorry, sorry. Three toasties, two, no meat. No meat. Only two, no meat. One with meat. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> that is a good cheese toasty. <laughs> nice. Nice, thank you. So you can see there's the cheese and then they also have different types of meat in here as well. And then there's pickles as well. Oh nice. <laughs> And it's such a small little shop as well. All this machine is doing it. Okay, so this is the toasty. It's made of mayonnaise, tomato sauce, tomato pickles, and a lot of meat. Now I got a meat-free one, but Cleo got the meat and literally they give you a lot. Like what is that? Like salami, salami. poloni. Yeah, it looks like poloni. Are you ready? 
Is it an overload of meat or is it? What's like the strongest flavour that's coming through on the meat? The salami? Yeah, salami is quite a strong meat. Mine's all the sauce. <laughs> Wait, what sauce is it? Tomato and mayonnaise. Honestly, guys, if you want to try the local food, it's a toasty. Come out and try the toasty. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. That was so good and so tasty. Thank you so much. And I'm so full and everyone in Turkey has been so nice to us. Guys, come here. Seriously. Those people running that toasty shop were so friendly. Just a bunch of young kids. <laughs> and literally we ordered four drinks and three toasties and it came to under eight Australian dollars. How Turkey cheap is that? Is very cheap. So tasty as well. But if you guys are new around here, Make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up because this is just the beginning. <laughs> I said that every time. We've got so much fun stuff planned for you guys. We are just a couple of days into our two week tour. And if you can't wait for our next video to come out, this little one is a vlog in the trip. I'll leave her little point of view vlog below. You better have this edited I know, by I'm the time this comes right out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let us know which was your favorite food that, you tr that we tried or one that you really want to try. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye! We have come to one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. So we've just come to this very local little winery or wine shop. And the walls are covered in wine. And it's currently 7am. We are the only people here. This place is so unique. We have never been to a place like it. Wow, Turkey. Seriously, wow. A little boxes, little ticky tacky, little boxes on the hillside, a little box.